So there's another part about um, the debugging of the Android uh, application that you should learn, which is how to use the logging facility. Okay, so Android Studio has built into it a way to log messages uh, so that you can sort of see what's going on within the app and not necessarily have to do it with breakpoints. So I'm going to open up one screen here and um, let's see here. And um, what we're going to do is do a little, little log statement here like that. And you can see that um, Copilot kind of gave me a suggestion about how to finish this. So I'm going to just press tab, okay? And uh, since it doesn't know what log is, we got to wait here and then import the class. So now if we go about and actually start not debugging, but running. So if I run, Now, if I were to click on any one of these, and I said, well, where, where is this logging going on? So if we look, click here, something called logcat. Click on logcat, and we have to pick the right simulator. So this is actually the wrong simulator. I picked the correct one here. And here, um, we're going to click it on. We're going to click back and then click on that item again. So we're going to click on this item here. And you can see here, pet clicked and then the uh, cat ID number. So something to keep in mind is um, what is showing you is that we're filtering all the log statements, basically anything to do with the um, program that is part of this specific package. So if I scroll up to the top, you can see that most of the code that's in this program has this package name. And so uh, it's saying, okay, concentrate on just all the log messages that are being generated by um, code that, has, that is specific to this package name. And then um, another thing to keep in mind is that you specifying these tags. So this tag here, pet list item, is what shows up right here. And that is another way to do some um, any kind of filtering as well. Um, okay. And then you can um, clear it again, clear all these logs, and then go back here. Click on this one, and then um, you can also um, clear it again, um, and then you can sort of see other other kinds of messages that are going on inside of the app besides the one that we wrote out. Um, one thing that's very handy about the Logcat is sometimes the app might just suddenly crash or just stop or something maybe doesn't quite, you don't quite understand what uh, some kind of unexpected behavior. And if you open up this this console, I mean this log cat and look at possibly any kind of messages, the last sort of messages that are happening, uh, you might see something that might give you a clue of what might be causing that kind of um, behavior or failure. So if I were to clear all this out, let's say I don't want to um, filter on anything specific, but then you, what you will see is there's a lot of messages going on over, overall from the whole uh, Android, um, within the whole Android platform, not just um, our application, okay? So if you were to click here, or if I were to just go back to the home, oops, just kind of scroll a lot of messages there. So there, a lot of things going on. So if I were to click back to our app and scroll down to the bottom, you see a lot of things going on, but a lot of things might be outside the scope of what we are uh, interested in. So if I just say, 
go to my app or there's another shortcut of saying package mine and it will know what mine is because it will be tied to the application that you're working on.